Man, we hooked up. APR wheels, floating caps, APR lugs, black, out, uh, Unitronic Stage 1 Plus Tune, Unitronic Intercooler, APR hosing for the entire turbo little get down, WWW. All right, it's finally time to put the APR intake on the Mach 8 Golf R. You guys will get a good angle uh, right now. I just got you on me. And I got this set up for POV, so you guys are going to get a nice POV shot of everything. And I'll talk and, you know, walk you through it and whatnot. But let's get into it, man. Let's get y'all set up right here. Man, <laughs> after I turned this camera off, a lot happened. Uh, I ended up dropping the tool down into the engine bay. Had to jack the car up, go under and grab that tool. But eventually I got the new speed um, air intake back on the car because currently I cannot put the APR on due to the way that the diverter valve is routed. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to pick this up on another day. Basically I'm gonna have to contact the shop, see if I can work something out with them. Okay, so here's where we are. My suspicions of a boost leak were correct, and we got that fixed. W. Hopefully, this stays on this time. Um, and it's the um, turbo outlet. Got that handled. Got the APR intake put on, which is a W. The number one thing I need is gas. So I'm gonna get to the crib and uh, get you guys some sounds. I gotta get you guys some sound clips of the open air APR intake. So right now, as it stands, we have our Unitronic intercooler. We have all of our APR cooling, charge pipes, APR uh, intercooler piping, uh, everything. So basically a Unitronic intercooler with APR piping everywhere for the entire uh, turbo system and airflow. And now we have the APR cold air intake in this open mode. I do have a lid for it. I will be putting that on. You guys gotta see what lid I got as well as a, a engine bay cover. Uh, I'm just giving hints to what's going on. But nevertheless, man, we hooked up. APR wheels, floating caps, APR lugs, black, out uh unitronic stage one plus tune unitronic intercooler apr hosing for the entire turbo little get down www so let's enjoy it <laughs> all right so you guys i'm about to get you guys some open air intake sounds and sound clips and whatnot as well as pov so first we'll do the hood open Nice blowout right there. Now we're gonna close it. Inside the car, you're driving, hood is closed. These are some of the sounds you can expect. So it's a nice, it's a nice clean uh, blow off, but one thing I can tell you, because I've driven a car before doing this clip, you get them a lot more. You hear the turbo a lot while driving. This is just a rev test that I do with all of the intakes. So I just wanted to include it in this one. All right, very important piece for the APR intake that I've been waiting on so we get that clean setup. Let's get it set up. All right, I'm gonna be real with y'all. There's a smart way to do this and a not so smart way. I did it the not so smart way because number one, I didn't put the cap on this side instantly. This is where you're gonna lose a lot of coolant. So I lost a lot of coolant. Let me show you how much. Yep. But I'm locked on. Clamp there. So I got the clamp on right here and then clamp right there. All right, so I went and picked up some 
coolant from the uh, diller. And then I have these APR parts that I've been waiting to put on a car for far too long now. So now I finally get to beautify this interior. You guys heard the open air intake. Now it's time to close it, see what that sounds like. And we have an engine cover. So now it's time to get our cover wrapped up really nice. Shout out to APR. As you guys can see, this is carbon fiber goodness. So you're just basically adding foam for the insulation and the fit. We got the insulation across this bad boy. Now we're gonna snap it in. Install is like you put these slots in right here, and then the rest, you just snap it in. Be careful with this. I'll tell you that much. All right, there we go. As you guys can see, this is a nice look. Clean fit. Now it's time to put on the cover. All right, so you're gonna take these rubber grommets and literally you're gonna weasel them inside of this hole. I saw online someone using WD-40 to make it easier. I'm just gonna raw dog it. You guys can see it's in place. And now we can put this engine cover on. So let's do that. Snaps right in, super simple, super nice. At the full carbon interior, baby. Oh yeah, she's clean. So we're gonna get some sound clips for you guys in a second. <laughs> this car just pulls and pulls and pulls. still hear it you guys like full <laughs> you know i just want to put it to you like this the apr system their intake system is well designed well put together and it gets my stamp of approval it sounds great it performs great and it looks great even if you don't do the carbon fiber cover it still looks good it's still a great well put together system and it performs as intended all right so I'm going into manual. You probably won't hear the intake as much as you're going to hear the motor, so. Dang, this car just pulls and pulls and pulls. The power <laughs> is next level, yo. Next level. Another thing I want to add is if you do get this intake bill, make sure that you go with the uh, radiator hose reroute. It's going to look cleaner and uh, it's the best solution just you know make sure uh, <laughs> you use the plug so you don't waste as much radiator fluid as I did man this four-cylinder sounds it sounds amazing for it to be a four-cylinder <laughs> like for real for real it sound like I low-key got like a little I don't know man it doesn't sound like it's only four let's just put it that way Such a fun car to drive. 